In Manjimup, Western Australia, Rowan Prince from the Department of Agriculture and Food is conducting a trial to determine if netting can improve water use efficiency in apple orchards while maintaining good yields and quality. This is part of a joint project between a few uh, different funders, um, part of a Royal East Regions funded water use efficiency project. Um, we're trying to increase the uh, uh, water use efficiency by more dollars per drop basically. So what we've done in the site, um, we've got two areas of net um, put onto the site. We've got a black net and a white net. Uh, we've also got outside netted area controlled by DAFWA and we've also got a grower control so we can compare the lot. Now in the first year um, the, the net's gone up um, October. We've had one season of cropping um, and what we've noticed is we had 13-14% less uh, water applied under the netted area um, than compared to the grower. In the first year of the trial, the trees became quite vigorous and there was lots of ground cover growth. To counter this, drip irrigation was installed in a small part of the netted area to replace the under tree sprinklers. So some of the benefits that we've seen from putting the drip irrigation in the system is that we've used far less water. We've applied only uh, 2.8 megalitres compared to about uh, 4.8 under the net. Um, outside the net is around uh, 6 megalitres by us and 5.2 by the grower and so that's effectively a 45% reduction than what's being used by the growers currently. Um, so that's a fantastic result in terms of water use. We've seen the benefit of reduced vigour and reduced sod culture um, and that makes for far less pruning and, and, and maintenance of the crop which means um, less in input um, and best thing is we're not seeing a reduction in fruit size uh, significantly either. About a one mil difference at the moment with about five weeks to go. The results are now in from the harvest and quality assessment of the fruit. They show that drip irrigation under netting is the most water efficient method of production, meaning more fruit can be grown per megalitre of water applied. The highest yield was under the white netting, which produced around 70 tonnes per hectare. However, commercial harvest results were not recorded in the plot that was drip irrigated, although it looks like its marketable yields could have been similar or higher. So if you want to reduce your water inputs and retain a good marketable yield, white netting combined with drip irrigation may be your best bet. Um, but yeah, we're seeing actually better, better background colour under the white net and the biggest benefits obviously huge reduction in sunburn, no bird damage, um, which also adds to the water use efficiency. Profitability wise, we've got to sort of compare it. Um, obviously there's been a capital cost, we'll have to look at the capital cost, but in terms of making yourself more robust in a, in a variable climate, um, you know, protection from hail, protection from birds, protection from sunburn, um, it seems a big benefit. Many thanks to Morian and Lister for hosting the trial and the Future Orchards Walk, where Western Australian growers got to talk to Rowan and see the trial. For more information on Rowan's netting research, read his article in the October edition of Australian Fruit Grower magazine that you can also find on the APAL website.